Your commentator is Noppers. June 6th, 1944, and the Allied forces launched the greatest amphibious assault the world has ever seen, with the aim of invading German-occupied Western Europe to drive the German forces out of France and all the way back to Berlin. Operation Overlord was the code name for the battle, and the coast of Normandy in France was the location. Over 1,200 aircraft, dropping thousands of airborne troops, preceded the amphibious assault, and the assault itself involved more than 5,000 vessels, ranging from amphibious assault craft such as the Higgins boat through to mighty battleships. Nearly 160,000 troops crossed the English Channel on the 6th of June, and by the end of August there were over 2 million Allied troops in France. Our footage today concentrates on two major parts of the initial landings, the beachheads known as Omaha and Utah. Here we see the objectives of the Allied forces on the beach landing known as Omaha. And again for Utah. And on this map we gain a marvellous understanding of the intricate planning for the Omaha landings. And of course, for the Utah landings as well. As all too often happens, the reality of battle does not meet planning expectations. And we can see on this, the third map for Omaha, that the Allied landing craft were pushed along the beach by confusion and ocean movements, resulting in a chaotic battle and countless losses on both sides. Today we have a remarkable opportunity to look at incredibly rare footage from the Allied assault forces and the German occupying forces taken across the Normandy coastline on the longest day, D-Day the 6th of June 1944. We start our footage today aboard one of the landing craft with the assault on Omaha. Get off the beach guys, get off the beach. Anywhere but the beach.
Got him. Got him. I fucking can't see a single thing at the spawn point, eh? Gotta get in the bunker. Now let's take a look at the battle from the German perspective. Although fully anticipating the unavoidable Allied assault on France, the German army was caught slightly by surprise with the selected location at Normandy. Hitler, the giant knob that he was, insisted it would be elsewhere. However, to the credit of the German and other Axis forces at Normandy, there were many brave fighters who fought valiantly against the overwhelming Allied superiority. Here we follow an infantry squad defending the coastline at the Omaha beachhead. Coming up to WN73. Yeah, um, Sherman is in. He's on the uh, main track line. Stationary. Incoming. Accurate Charlie Mark. Armored car moving in. Careful, Enigmatic. They're moving up. Heading over to south. Spears. I got him, Spearsy. And one enemy Sherman up on top of our near our base. Uh, that one Sherman dead. Enemy tank in our rear. Enemy tank in our rear. My best friend. Enemy tank in our rear. Three tanks on Charlie Mark. Guys, guys, enemy are right here. Where I'm pinging. We've got a breakthrough. We've got a breakthrough. They got two out. They got two out. Enemy infantry marked. M big breakthrough. Enemy tank marked. Remember, try and shoot him in the ass if you can.
Now we move to the second stage of the Allied push at Normandy at Omaha Beach as the Allies have made it off the beaches and have pushed inland. Did you get one, Noppers? Yes, there's supplies here. Oh, yeah, Noppers got one. Two guys, two enemy, still more. Yeah, Noppers, try to stop them from getting to that spot that you're at. Up there again. Yep. Enemy tank. My ping. Is that ping accurate? Yes. My ping, my ping. Got him, got him. Yeah, it was, I couldn't tell you if he was on the other side of the wall or not. Man, I think I just won this game for a minute. On Utah Beach, the battle was a much different beginning phase. Forces rapidly breached the beach defences. Yeah, I want one to pull that though. Yeah, yeah, we'll put one halfway. There was even time to commune with nature. There's the head of a fish on the beach here. It's the little things, isn't it? I'm trying to think who the fishmonger was in um, fucking the Asterix books. Get if oh no. Get a fix was the, the druid. Yeah, he had the hot wife, the fishmonger. Hit him with my ping. He could me. Rags on your right. But despite the limited supply of Germans at Utah, it was not a walk in the park. Major, right on ya, right on ya. Fuck me, they're on the beach. Set up on the yeah. beach edge. We can't even get out of the water. It's got to be a Gary just in front of me. I think we knocked him out. Gary's further north. Smokes up. On my teams with Gary.
nice enemy between you and me. Oh, fuck, they're all over me. Watch out, there's a guy just 300. Yeah. Thanks for trying, dude. Ah, oh, sorry, bro. couple in the trenches right with me. No matter what the Germans did, the outcome was always inevitable. The Allies were able to secure the beaches and to push inland to continue to retake the French countryside from the German occupation forces. Many months of vicious and deadly fighting lay ahead, but for now the D-Day landings were a success for the Allies.